Hi there, hope you're having a lovely day so far. Well, the stay at home era has meant that children for the short term have had to stay in and miss out on lots of fun stuff that they're just used to doing. And this has meant that parents really have had to be resourceful in finding new and in exciting means of keeping the kids entertained and engaged um, and educated as well whilst being home and um, safe with you. So our special guest definitely has something that um, that we want to talk about today and that is our Ready, Set, Dance. Now they have partnered up with the number one uh, entertainment brand in the world, Nickelodeon, uh, to create Ready, Set, Dance TV show. So we welcome our special uh, our guest, um, Belinda Agostino, co-creator of Ready, Set, Dance, a studio owner and um, a very busy mum. Thank you so much for joining us today, Belinda. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. I'm well, thank you. Uh, thanks for having me today, representing Ready, Set, Dance on, um, on your show. Yeah, and this is all very exciting. And um, yeah. I think the idea of combining dance with education in one um, to be able to teach kids so many um, things is um, a fascinating concept and something that, that parents are home with their kids in isolation at the moment um, and definitely as we're going into the winter months anyway to be able to keep the kids um active and entertained and in, uh, engaged and educated, I think is just um, brilliant. And I can sort of see and understand why Nickelodeon Junior have jumped at the chance to partner with you guys. Um, so and now I was one of the co-creators. I'd love to pick your brain on some really important topics today. Um, and to begin with, can you tell us why you think that movement um, and dance in particular um, is so important um, for kids that are home in isolation at the moment? Moment, um, especially provided, I guess, that they have so many restrictions on their external activities at the moment. Yeah, well, dance provides an outlet for kids to, um, you know, to express themselves, to be active, to, you know, have lots of fun. And essentially, that's what, um, you know, Ready, Set, Dance brings into the homes of, um, of our preschoolers across awesome. Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> And um, dance is something that I've been extremely passionate about my whole life. I told my mum at the age of three that I wanted to dance and she had no idea, like, you want to do what? And um, I, I know myself that there has been so many benefits that um, I had um, and, I, and I sort of danced and ended up professionally later on in life as well. So it's something I've done my whole life. But in, in the preschool years, um, you know, it taught me a lot. Um, and I want to be able to sort of delve a little bit more into um, sort of the benefits of this. But in particular what makes your program um sort of different from others um and particularly uh, i guess during this time of COVID 19 as well i guess um what really makes it different is the fact that it's so colorful and bright and engaging it's um you know uh has many elements of dance involved into the one it's not just a you know um one faceted one faceted type of dance it you know includes jazz and hip-hop and we feel like it's you know um designed for um the preschoolers of today to respond to um you know because it is cool it is um it is very um it's original as well all the music is original it's got key instructions for preschoolers to um, be able to follow and and respond to and engage with so mm -hmm. it's definitely it's definitely different to anything that uh, exists in the market and we were able to transfer our um, classes uh, you know that exist you know in, in the program to the to an the format of the on tv for nickelodeon so mm. it's definitely um also gender neutral as well we feel like when we first developed the program there was definitely um lots of pink lots of pink tutus around you know that you know just catered for what i think people essentially thought was just a you know a market of girls you know because apparently only girls dance uh, but um we've um come out and we've changed that and we've um definitely seen an increase in um boys uh participating in not only you know the show but um in all our classes and uh we feel like that the gender neutral um you know aspect of our of our classes is definitely 
different to what's out there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I love the fact that it is gender neutral and, and you are finding that it is equally for, for, for girls and for boys. Mm. And there are so many benefits to dance. Um, of course, that it is another form of exercise, which is very, very important. Um, but what, what do you personally mean? I, I, I see that there's so many other benefits of confidence and deportment um, and all kinds of things. And obviously, um, you know, coordination, all of those important things for yeah. a preschooler. But what else do you sort of see as being the benefits of dance for, um, for, for, for preschoolers in that two to five year um, sort of age gap? Uh, well, there's a lot of um, the, the program itself hits a lot of um, building on the milestones that um, kids oh, wonderful. need to, uh, to get into um, to school. So, um, or be ready for school. So school readiness. And, um, you know, we tap into, um, you know, I, I guess, what you'd call like a growth mindset type of teaching and uh, building on resilience as well. Um, you know, they learn colours, they balance on one foot, they skip, they learn to jump from two feet. Um, there's also um, an aspect of the, of the class where they follow the leader, they learn um, aspects of self-control as well, having to wait their turn and listen to the teacher. They count backwards from 10 that's a that's a huge milestone that um, preschoolers definitely need to know before they get um go to kindergarten to kindergarten and also um the the instrument part of our program that promotes you know active listening as well and developing um you know the um, phenomic awareness for readiness of reading as well so there's definitely lots of things that we touch on uh we like to call it the three C's where we develop confidence, um, coordination and creativity. And um, through those three kind of, you know, headings, a lot of those other things kind of fall into um, and, you know, take creativity for, for example, in um, both the show and in our classes, there's so many moments that the kids have a, um, the opportunity to make choices and um, you know, take chances, free to be themselves. And uh, that um, development of um, the imagination is um, crucial for um, you know, the, the, the kids' development. And um, it's all about how music makes them feel you know, and, you know, we're a big believer that, um, you know, when kids are having fun, they, they learn, they learn more, you know, they learn through play. In fact, I think you know, that kind of, you've hit the nail yeah. on the head. Yep. Yeah. It's the, the, um, neuroscience behind all that is that kids do, do learn, um, do learn through play. And, um, you know, the, Every, there's so much fun involved in our program and in the show um, and you know and the kids they, they'd laugh as well they find um, 12 and 3 super funny um, and relatable as well um, so yeah I think it's a, it's a brilliant um, concept of, as we we're saying before, sort of combining movement um, and that being dance um, with education um, and making it fun. Because as you've just said, and as, um, all the experts that we speak to agree that when you make learning fun, um, they're going to retain that information so much more. Yeah. Um, they're yeah. not even, they don't even realise they're learning anything really. They just think they're having a big like party all the time, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, and, and there's a lot of things that we're implementing, you know, that, you know, makes them, I guess, that, that like aids in the learning and the retention as well. And, you know, uh, at the end of the day, supports the successful participation of the kids dancing. So, yeah. Yeah. And so how has the show been received amongst sort of preschoolers and parents then, given that there's so many benefits, it must be, um, must be very well received, I would think. Yeah, it is definitely well received. Um, it is um, the number one um, ranked uh, subscription TV program um, amongst children from zero to twelve, and it's also um, we've we've noticed a you know noticed a, a, a huge increase of like kids picking up dance in that age group as well, and particularly boys. There's been about a fifteen percent increase. Um, uh, generally of boys participating in dance which is oh, absolutely so mm -hmm. amazing it's so great to see um you know uh the the parents really uh, 
not look at dance as just being a girly thing or, you know. Yeah, and I think we, we are know, moving to a much more gender neutral society now anyway, that things are ever, everyone's a little bit more open-minded. Um, yeah. But, you know, there are well, the, the, the preschoolers have also the kid crew to look up to. They look up to, um, because they're, they're slightly older, they sit between the age group of like 10 and 13. And it's, a, it's a, like an aspirational type of learning that the preschoolers, you know, are exposed to where they're looking at that, uh, you know, whether that's Emmy or Hunter and, oh, my goodness, I want to be able to do that cool move just like <laughs> Hunter. I want to be able to do that cool move just like Emmy. So it's, um, yeah. yeah, definitely. So, um, could I just clarify for a second? So you, we were talking about the program, which is on Nickelodeon Junior, and that's the TV okay. program. But you've mentioned that there's also another online program, which you, you run also, and you've got, on, I think it's on YouTube as well, you just released. Is that the program that's, that's um, up to 12 years of age? Is that right? Just to clarify. So, so just to clarify, we have the online, um, the online classes that we've transferred classes online due to COVID. So yeah. they were physical classes um, that existed and, and they do exist in like 230 locations across Australia and New Zealand. Um, but like since, we, since COVID's happened, we've um, quickly adapted to the changes, you know, forced by the pandemic and um, the, the, the small the small business owners that are associated with the Ready Set Dance brand, they have um, transferred their classes to online to be able to get the kids Zooming instead of, um, well, still moving, but just through Zoom. <laughs> so so um, where about, <laughs> on YouTube can we find you guys then? On YouTube, we have our Ready Set Dance talent, uh, at channel and that has um, specific playlists for um, kids to dance at home with. And uh, they're, you know, divided with the, 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 the warm-up, there's a stretch, there's, you know, the shaker, there's the shaker, there's the, um, the there's hip-hop, there's Hot jazz. Heaps of have, yeah. Heaps, heaps of things but, to be able to keep your kids active. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just just search Ready, Set, Dance and we'll definitely come um, pop up and, you know, you can subscribe and it's have uh, to do definitely... That get yeah, the kids involved in that and, and those classes are then up um uh, up to 12 years of age is that right well anyone at home can participate including the parents they are geared to preschoolers that's the age group that they're geared to but um the actual uh kid crew are 12 13 14 year olds so Ooh. um yeah they're really cool kids that you know um that are relatable and uh yeah, just fun. Definitely. And so getting back just to, fun. I guess, talking about um, the, the preschoolers, when you were originally creating the programs and understanding that kids' attention um, is, is sort of quite limited at that age, I'd love to understand how did you design the programs um, to keep the kids' attention focused? Um, but mm. the second part of this question is the fact that, you know, what can parents actually learn from this that they can help parents every day adapt mm. that into their everyday lifestyle? Um, um, is there is is there anything at all that you've learnt that is um, is rel relative and relevant? Um, oh, absolutely. Um, we've had uh, well. Firstly, with your first question, the combo, um, the fact that we uh, the the exercises are quite short too, um, as well as the, um, the 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 songs, they keep the attention span of the kids. They're they're designed specifically with musical cues as well, so. Um, really keeps the kids engaged to be able to do what the music is saying um, and um, it's all thematically relevant to them as well. Um, in the classroom um, we make sure that the class is moving quite quickly and we um, not so not so that we're rushing through it but so that um, you know they do Firstly, the warm up, then they do the parachute, and then we quickly move to the follow the leader. Then the class engages them to be able to move to the next part where they learn the dance combo. Then they sit down and do the music. So there's lots of like short, snappy things. Short, yeah, short, snappy things to keep their attention span. Um, and that's also um, you'll find on our YouTube channel too. They're quite short, but there's um, you know quite a few of them for them to be able to you know just move on to the next one and, and because it changes say theme or song yeah. or I guess that's the know. lesson for the parents is then understanding that kids in, in that age um, group from two to five um, with a, a very short attention span to be able to give them lot, lots of small um, sort of tasks and lots of small activities or and yeah. or things that can sort of keep them constantly engaged and, and by the sounds of things it's worked very well for the program then which is great. 
and yeah they too. like to feel involved too um the preschoolers like to help out, out kindness is modeled in our classes and online and um even twill and freeze um when they're you know talking they always talk through kindness and they like to um we like to get the children involved in helping out in putting away their turn uh, their, their toys or their instruments putting away um you know or moving to the next part um but you know in in their in like a fun way by following the leader you know um so it's really anything that's associated through play um we find that the kids do just like to be little helpers as well. Um, <laughs> and it sounds like there's been a lot of research that's sort of gone into um, the, the program and, and no, no wonder that's why it sort of worked so well for, for Nickelodeon. Um, and it sounds like there's lots of different de depositions that the children learn, being um, enthusiasm, um, uh, independence, um, concentration, and we were speaking about that before with the focus. So I mean, mm. um, indirectly teaching them uh, concentration is really important. Um, persistence um, and also sort of cooperation so did you when you were designing the program for Nickelodeon um, then sort of um, hand select that you wanted to teach these depositions to the children or this has just been as a result of how you've developed the program no we, we, we were specific about what we wanted to be able to get through the um, um, along with the, the messaging and, and 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 the strong themes to be able to um, help you know uh teach all those dis dispositions um we had the beautiful dr kathy harrison um you know check out not only the show but also our program and um she wrote a beautiful report about it and how um you know the sequencing and and and, and the series of instructions that we and how we we do this you know through our messaging um you know able to essentially be um, translated to other contexts in real life, like, you know, getting ready um, for everyday routines. You know, first you get dressed, then you clean your teeth and, you know, those kind of um, the, the patterns and the predictions that are involved are also involved in stuff like literacy and numeracy. So those, um, you know, the, the show really touches on those, um, on the sequencing of movements to be able mm. to help, you know, translate that into real life too. Yeah. yeah, and so what have you guys been doing during the COVID nineteen era to help preschoolers get engaged um, and keep them keeping busy? Is that is that all the stuff that you've done with a YouTube channel and, and transferring? Uh, yes, them? we have. We've developed and um, developed our YouTube channel to be able to you know keep the the kids engaged, especially during the time when all the studios were closed and we're still trying to get up um, and running online. Um, we um, created these great dance at home um, playlists and also dance at home packs as well that um, you know essentially have maracas and rainbows and stars and bean bags that you know help um, you know facilitate the uh, facilitate them actually you know participating at home um, with the with the routines and on YouTube. And some and, um, DIY options of, of the the dance yeah. room packs as well I read um well, the, yeah. the maracas and the maracas you can get a water bottle um, and put hundreds and thousands in there <laughs> is there anything else that you put in there to make a maraca a homemade maraca? oh you can put you can make anything you can put anything in there you can like as long as you put the lid on um <laughs> otherwise you'll have hundreds and thousands everywhere um Oh, well, you know, we've kept, we've kept our community, um, our community really engaged in like a bake off as well. We got, um, cause the, the hundreds and thousands, um, actually <laughs> reminded me about that. Um, how fun it is to get, um, you know, baking in the kitchen and singing along and dancing along to our music in the background or on YouTube. Um, we've got the cupcake song, um, that, you know, is doing super, super, that, that's super fun. We've also, um, the DIY options that you're talking about before is the, the rainbow ribbon streamers, which is the part of the the program and and the and the show where um, the kids wear uh, these rainbow ribbons on their hands and create rainbows. Um, you know, uh, people have been doing them with um, scrunchies and hair ribbons, uh, you know, sewn onto them. So that's been um, that's been lots of fun to to see all the innovative ways that the studio owners and um you know the parents have come up with you know uh i guess the diy option 
Yeah. So as we've spoken today about all of the, the benefits then that dance has um, for preschoolers, I mean, and obviously ongoing, but for, for preschoolers in, in particular, all of the school readiness um, lessons that they're t taking in a fun and engaged way, which is sensational. Um, and then besides that also um, that the, the options are available for, for, for parents to be able to watch um, Ready, Set, Dance um, on Nickelode Nickelodeon Junior. And if they don't have Foxtel, they can still um, be uh, sort of associated with you guys by going to your YouTube channel. Um, is there anything else? Is there anything else from an app perspective or any other games? Or there's a, there's, yeah, there's a Nick Junior app that has um, accessibility to some of the episodes as well as um, a Nick Junior uh, Ready, Set, Dance uh, game that um, if you search, you can definitely um, find on there. I think it's on the, um, it's on the app as well. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, that keeps the um, the kids engaged. It's called Set the Stage, and it allows them to be as creative as possible um, <laughs> by um, changing um, the stage of Twill and Freeze with lights and costumes. And yeah, it's very, very, very cute. And I think this very is. Fun. Fun. Um, a very positive and uplifting thing for, for all families to be doing at this time or it may be a it little is. Bit depressing Look, at the moment. dance makes people happy. It keeps, um, it, it's been wonderful to actually see the parents involved as well, like dancing at home with the kids too. How wonderful. You know, um, yeah, they've, um, they've been sending us through. And, and if you've got some, you know, wonderful footage of your kid or yourself dancing along, you know, to um, anything on our YouTube channel. We'd love to see that. Um, our, our handle is at Ready, Set, um, Dance Official. That's our Instagram handle. And um, you'll find us also on um, our website, www.readyset.dance. We'll have all of those links um, yeah. definitely in the show notes and in the introduction paragraph. Linda, thank you so much for your time today. It's been oh, a real treat thank you. speaking to you. <laughs> and um, all the best of luck um, with them. Um, thank with, you so is much. Is this the second series, is it? This, it this... is. It's season, it's season two. Okay, it's season cool. two. We started off with a, as, as an interstitial and now we have our own show. Um, that's our... Um, that's how it's, we're really excited, actually. It's a whole seven minutes. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so awesome. much. Take care and we'll speak yeah. with you again soon. And congratulations too. All the best. Thank Take you care. so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.